Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our edit modes. And on today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about shuffle mode. Shuffle mode, um, honestly, this is not a mode, an edit mode that you use a lot. But if you're doing, let's say, things like podcast editing and um, a couple other operations, you might find this useful. Uh, as I said before, in general, you'd be using slip and grid, and you'd be going back and forth between those two, but in shuffle mode, you can do really cool things uh, that you can with the previous two. So, um, shuffle mode. What shuffle mode does, as it, the name says, it shuffles between your clips, and the space between them. So if you do things like, for example, you click... As you can see here, I got three clips, right? Um, there's the blue, purple, and the green. If I click on this light blue clip and I try to drag it here to the end, look what happens. It shuffles them. So it puts that first clip on the end and then the previous two, it'll shuffle them and put them back. So if I do, let's say this purple, if I take this purple and put it here after the blue one, you're gonna see the green, then the blue and then the purple. So if you click, drag, boom, green, blue, purple. Um, same thing, you can do it backwards. So if you do, let's say this purple, take it back here, goes back. If you do, if you change this green one and put it here at the end, you shuffle those two, okay? So it takes one, puts it where the other one was, and the one that just got replaced takes the space of the first one, basically shuffles them. Now, let's say that you had I'm going to change to another mode really quick to show you something. Let's say you had, here, you had a clip, then you had a space, and then two more clips. And you want to move this first clip here to the end. What's going to happen is that that clip is going to go to the end, but the space, Pro Tools will respect that space. Check it out. Click on it, drag, boom, space is still there. So it recognizes the space as if it was another clip. It is not a clip, but it'll recognize it. Okay, let me go back. Now, here's another cool one. Uh, if you, let's say, click and drag to trim a clip, check what happens. I'm gonna do it again. I click and drag to trim the clip, and what's gonna happen Boom, it'll shuffle them. So that space that I literally cut when I trimmed, uh, it'll snap that clip to the end of the first one so they would move to the left, right? If you do the other way around, if you actually make it longer, boom, it'll shuffle the other way around. That way, the cool thing about a shuffle is that you can work on a clip and do whatever editing you want and that won't affect whatever is after that because that stays there, right? It just snaps with it. So if you know for a fact, let's say you have, let's say this clip was a conversation and this was something else, or let's say music. You could be editing this and do whatever you want there, and you know by by the, you know that by the time this clip ends, this was the dialogue. Let's say it was a podcast. If this was the dialogue, you can edit as much as you want. And you know for a fact, as soon as that dialogue ends, boom, the music clip will start. So, that's the shuffle mode in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using... All of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.